Hello everyone, it's Chantel from Crochantel, and welcome to this tutorial on how to crochet in Amigurumi Earth. If you're interested in the PDF version of this pattern, please check out the description for additional details. So the materials that you'll need include a 5mm crochet hook, some scissors, a stitch marker, I personally use a bobby pin, a sewing or darning needle, 20 millimeter safety eyes, white super bulky yarn, green super bulky yarn, blue super bulky yarn, as well as some polyfill stuffing. And the terminology and abbreviations you'll need to know include a magic ring, single crochet, increase, decrease, slip stitch, and fastening off. We will start our earth using our blue super bulky yarn, and then we will create a magic ring. I personally like to close off my magic rings before working single crochets into them, but it's ultimately your choice. And then for row one, simply work six single crochets into the magic ring. And then for row two, we are simply going to do six increases around, and by the end of the row, you should have a total of 12 stitches. And on the last stitch, you should color change to your green. And then for row three, we are going to do a single crochet and then an increase for a total of two times in green. And then we will color change to blue and do a single crochet. And then color change to white and do an increase and then a single crochet. Color change back to blue and do an increase. And color change to green and do a single crochet and then an increase. And then another single crochet. And then change back to blue for an increase at the end. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 18 stitches, and be sure that on your last single crochet in your increase, you color change back to green. And then for row four, we will start off in green and do two single crochets and then an increase for a total of two times, and then color change to blue and do a single crochet, color change to white and then do a single crochet and then an increase and then another single crochet, color change to blue and do a single crochet and then an increase, color change to green and do two single crochets and then an increase and then two more single crochets, then finishing off the row with a blue increase. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 24 stitches, but this time you do not need to color change to green at the end of the row. You can keep the blue yarn. And then for row five, we are going to start off with three single crochets in blue. Then we will color change to green and do an increase and then three more single crochets color change to blue and do an increase and then a single crochet, color change to white and do two single crochets, color change to blue and do an increase and then two more single crochets, color change to green and do a single crochet and then an increase and then three more single crochets, and finishing off the row we will do an increase and three single crochets and then another increase all in blue. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 30 stitches. And I just cut off the white yarn as we no longer need that until the end of the earth. And then for row six, we are going to do three single crochets in blue, color change to green and do a single crochet and then an increase, color change to blue and 
do a single crochet, then color change to green and do three single crochets, color change to blue and do an increase and then four single crochets, color change to green and do an increase, then four single crochets and then an increase and four more single crochets. And then to finish off the row, we will do an increase and then four single crochets and one final increase all in blue. And by the end of the row, you should have a total of 36 stitches. And then for row seven, this will be our final row of increasing. You're going to do three single crochets in blue, color change to green and do two single crochets and then an increase and then five single crochets, color change to blue and do an increase and then five single crochets, color change to green and do an increase and then five single crochets, then another increase and another five single crochets. And to finish off the row, we will do an increase and five single crochets and one final increase all in blue and by the end of the row you should have a total of 42 stitches and this is what your work should look like and then for row 8, we are simply going to do 3 single crochets in blue, then 8 single crochets in green, 8 single crochets in blue, 10 single crochets in green, and then 13 single crochets in blue for a total of 42 stitches. And then for row 9, we will do 4 single crochets in blue, 6 single crochets in green, 9 single crochets in blue, 10 single crochets in green, and then to finish off the row, we will do 13 single crochets in blue, once again for a total of 42 stitches. And then for row 10, we are going to do 4 single crochets in blue, 3 single crochets in green, 11 single crochets in blue, 11 single crochets in green, and then 13 single crochets in blue for a total of 42 stitches. And then for row 11, we are going to do 6 single crochets in blue, 2 single crochets in green, 10 single crochets in blue, 7 single crochets in green, and then 17 single crochets in blue to finish off the row, for a total of 42 stitches.
this is what your work should look like. And then for row 12, we are going to do seven single crochets in blue, a single crochet in green, 10 single crochets in blue, and seven single crochets in green, and then 17 single crochets in blue for a total of 42 stitches. And then for row 13, we are going to do 18 single crochets in blue, 8 single crochets in green, and then 16 single crochets in blue for a total of 42 stitches. And then for row 14, we are going to work 10 single crochets in blue, 5 single crochets in green, 6 single crochets in blue, 5 single crochets in green, and then 16 single crochets in blue. By the end of the row, you should have 42 stitches. Row 15 will be our last row of straight single crochets. And for this row, we will do 10 single crochets in blue, 6 single crochets in green, 6 single crochets in blue, 4 single crochets in green, and then 16 single crochets in blue. Once again, for a total of 42 stitches around. And this is what your work should look like. And then for row 16, we are going to do five single crochets, then a decrease, and then three single crochets in blue, then two single crochets, a decrease, and two more single crochets in green, and then three single crochets, and then a decrease, and another single crochet in blue, four single crochets in green, a decrease, and then five single crochets, and another decrease in blue, three single crochets in green, and then to finish off the row, two single crochets, and then a decrease in blue. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 36 stitches.
and then for row 17 we are going to do four single crochets and then a decrease and then three more single crochets in blue single crochet and then a decrease and then two more single crochets in green then two single crochets a decrease three single crochets in blue then a single crochet in green a decrease and then four single crochets and then another decrease in blue three single crochets in green and then a single crochet and a decrease in blue to finish off the row and by the end of the row you should have a total of 30 stitches And from this point on we will not need the green yarn so if you would like you can cut it off like I did but it's ultimately your choice and then for row 18 we are going to do three single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times and by the end of the row you should have a total of 24 stitches And then for row 19, you will simply do two single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times. And by the end of the row, you should have a total of 18 stitches. We are now going to insert the safety eyes. So going to the large blue portion of the earth, take your 20 millimeter safety eyes and insert them eight visible stitches apart between rows 10 and 11. And this is what it should look like. And I am now going to go off camera to stuff the earth and be sure to stuff the earth firmly. I have finished stuffing the earth and now I'm going to partially undo the last decrease I did from row 19 and I'm going to color change to white and then for row 20 I will do a single crochet and then a decrease for a total of six times all in white by the end of the row you should have a total of 12 stitches and then for row 21 our last row we're going to do six decreases around and by the end of the row you should have a total of six stitches And then to fasten off, slip stitch into the next stitch and to leave a tail to sew the opening closed. And this is what your earth should look like. And I am now going to take a darning needle and sew the opening closed. And this is what your finished earth should look like. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please read the description for additional details on where to get the PDF version of this pattern. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.